Hi, good evening. It's been a while since we've been together to pray on Wednesdays. Tonight we're beginning our journey in the book of Job. And so I'm going to read each Wednesday a scripture that we don't touch on in worship. Um, so this week's scripture comes from Job 1, 13 through 21. One day when his sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in the eldest brother's house, a messenger came to Job and said, The oxen were plowing and the donkeys were feeding beside them, and the Sabians fell on them and carried them off and killed the servants with the edge of the sword. I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was still speaking, another came and said, The fire of God fell from heaven and burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them. I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was still speaking, another came and said, the Chaldeans formed three columns, made a raid on the camels, and carried them off, and killed the servants with the edge of the sword. I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was still speaking, another came and said, Your sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in the eldest brother's house. And suddenly a great wind came across the desert, struck the four corners of the house, and it fell on the young people, and they are dead. I alone have escaped to tell you. Then Job arose, tore his rose, shaved his head, and fell on the ground and worshipped. He said, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked shall I return there. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I invite you to close your eyes, to breathe in deeply, and to breathe out. I invite you to breathe in deeply and to breathe out. Holy One, when we read the story of Job, we see so much pain. He begins to lose everything. It starts with robbers stealing farm animals, then fire destroying more of his property the more stolen animals, and the wind that kills his children. There is so much pain and suffering, so much loss. Holy One, we too are experienced loss. Life is no longer the same as it once was. We think about what it means to venture out of our houses. Will this trip to the store be the one that brings illness to my home and family? We feel the loss of those connections we used to have when we gathered with friends and extended family, when we went to church and clubs. We miss our friends. We feel the loss brought by our changing weather. We pray for the farmers who wonder about their yields and worry about making enough to keep going. We think about families we have who are near the fires, who are breathing that smoke and we worry about their safety. We think about our family and friends who have felt the big winds with storms bringing devastation to our coasts. We feel the loss of normal. We hug our kids tight before we send them off to school. We pray for our teachers and children that they adapt to the new ways of teaching and learning. We feel the loss of normal as we continue to hear stories of riots and looting protests and demonstrations. The news is contradictory and confusing. We pray for those who experience systemic racism, who daily have to confront the fact that they are not welcome because of the color of their skin. And we ask you to show us a new and better way where everyone is treated as a beloved, loved child of God. We pray for those fearful of the changes that will require us to be different. We grieve that loss of the ways things have always been. Holy One, hold us close in our loss, in our suffering, in our pain, and remind us that you are there always with your love, compassion, and peace. Amen. <laughs>